we have a culture that really doesn't embrace being smart. You know, kids that have uh, good grades that are, you know, really uh, smart, they're called nerds, they're called bookworms, or made fun of. So, this is a the problem in America, everything is very superficial. So, in a culture like that, it's very, very hard to be a bookworm, to be a smart kid. We started cartoonists across America in 1985 to promote literacy. The reason was, we, we all knew, uh, me, me being a cartoonist, we all knew that kids love cartoons. So it just makes perfect sense to have cartoons that maybe have a little more substance to them than, you know, just silliness. And so we started creating. We need to come up with a better format to put cartoon, you know, instead of comic books. Comic strips. Yeah, make, make them make a, in a nice book format. I went to all the publishers of comic books at that time, Marvel, DC, everybody, mm -hmm. and everybody thought it was crazy. Yeah. So I said, well, okay, forget it. You know, they, they didn't see the idea I had, so we started just on our own. In 1977, I did a graphic novel, 80 pages, on nice paper, 8 and a half by 11, called Even Casco Gets the Blues. And that was one of the first graphic novels. There is a lot of argument who was first, you know, <laughs> since that time. But it's okay. Uh, Will Eisner, uh, his book came out a year later. And it was fine because we, we needed more graphic novels. Right. So I wanted to encourage all my friends in comics to do graphic novels because we would get more money and they would be on the shelf a longer time. Instead of the periodical once a month, you have a graphic novel, it's on forever. I think the graphic novel format can work because we're a visual culture. We like to watch TV, we like movies. So using that, we can go back and then trick people into reading. So that's the secret, and that has to happen. So. What we have to do, we have to still work on the message. You know, we have to still push it. So that's where teachers, librarians can play a role. Yeah. <clears throat> Libraries can help me by not putting all graphic novels in together. Yes. Because <laughs> the problem is when you're going to buy, uh, get a book on, uh, let's say, Jewish history, you want to read a mouse. Mouse is about the Holocaust. So you're going to want to see that book placed in the Holocaust Cataloging section. Yeah. yeah. So I think the, the cataloging, the big argument, it still goes on, is we cannot put uh, Garfield or, you know, Calvin mm -hmm. and Hobbes with Mouse and, yeah. and watch, <laughs> you know. So we have to separate. and. The books have to be seen as novels. So the Beatles, for instance, the fifth Beatle, should be placed in biography.